Uh, today I'm doing a uh, one arm uh, deadlifts. This is my first time ever doing them. I uh, I did start off with 135. Now this is probably uh, my third set here. I worked up to uh, 325 pounds. It uh, they're kind of hard to do. They're they're hard to lock out. I'm not uh, real good at doing them yet. Like I said I, I, this is like my third set ever doing them. Uh, I do them with one side, and then I uh, use the exact same weight and switch hands and uh, go up to the other side to keep uh, kind of a muscle balance because they are kind of a uh, work one side harder than the other. So a guy should keep your uh, sets even with the uh, left right hand. Now, uh, here's a, a set of the same 325 with the other hand. I have a kind of hard time doing it. So it's hard to get the uh, to grab the center of the bar. It's kind of hard to get the, the bar centered out right. Here we got kind of pissed off trying to <laughs> trying to find the center of the bar. It's uh, kind of hard to do that. Once you get that down, it's it's uh, quite a bit easier. But I still don't have the, the form down quite right. I should have my uh, body a little bit different. Like I said, the, the way that I'm doing them, it's uh, very hard to lock out. I'll have to try at a, at a lighter weight with these and just really work on... Uh, I'm trying to get uh, the form down right so the, the lockout is a little bit easier. But uh, I liked them. They, they put uh, a lot uh, a lot different kind of stress on your body. You know, with one side like that, it uh, kind of works your uh, glutes and hamstrings a little bit differently. And it uh, works your obliques and stuff. Pulling that's just pulling on one side. Now I'm uh, doing these without a belt also. Uh, I think on the, the next set, I, I try to attempt... Uh, 405, and I'm quite a, quite a long ways away from lockout on the, on the next uh, 405 one, but uh, I did put a belt on for that, but for these lighter sets of uh, like three and a quarter here, I'm not wearing a belt, and uh, after I uh, get done with this one here, I uh, do quite a few sets with just, uh, I think with just uh, 275, and here I'm doing uh, just uh, deadlifts, uh, pause deadlifts at the knee level. I think I have uh, three mats on there as well, a three mat deficit, and then I've got uh, kind of larger red bands. It's probably, I don't know, maybe 100 pounds of band tension there. Uh, really, band ten bands work very well for the uh, knee level uh, pause deads because they allow you to be explosive off the floor, and then you're able to easily stop at the knee that really helps out from having just free weight. It's kind of hard to stop at the knee and be explosive yet. So uh, if you do uh, any knee level pause deadlifts, bands are almost like a must, unless you're doing them like with a super heavy weight. Uh, here I'm doing uh, doing it with uh, 455. And then I just keep on adding a mat here. I've got uh, four mats on there, so that'd be a uh, three inch deficit. And then uh, I say I'm doing a 455. You know, plus then you probably get 100 pounds of band tension. Band tension also gets higher too as you uh, increase the uh, number of mats. The band tension gets just a little bit further. And uh, I'm done with that. That 455, that uh, three-inch deficit was uh, the biggest I went. And now I'm doing uh, just a low pause deadlift from a five and a half inch deficit. I pause uh, basically right at the uh, floor level. You know, when, once I get rid of the uh, Five and a half inch deficit there. That was uh, 575. I mean. That was actually quite heavy, and, uh, and I quit with that.